Okay, uh, good morning or good afternoon. Um, firstly, um, this is how we're going to be putting certain bits on um, from the history syllabus um, for year nine. Um, we're going to go through some lessons. Uh, our suggestion is um, that you um, continue to um, read around the topics. Um, if you can do your research, use all of the stuff that's on, that's on the website. Um, and also look on things like BBC Biotside. It's got your whole migration course on there. But we're also going to be putting up intermittent um, lessons um, and activities for you to do and videos for you to watch. Um, and it would be great if you can make sure that you're um, accessing these, watching them and doing some of the activities um, in this time where things are a bit up in the air. So firstly, I know I've missed the last week. Quick update for you. I'm feeling pretty much OK. Um, I don't know if, if, if you're particularly bothered, um, but I um, just have a cough. Um, so I think I'm fine. I feel like I'm coming on, coming out of it, but obviously can't leave the house because I can't be with you. Um, so I'm really sorry to, to have missed the last few lessons. You know, I love teaching Year 9, um, love teaching this course, um, and it has been, it's been a real shame to, to miss out. Um, so, um, firstly, this is where we are at so far um, in terms of what we've seen. Um, and if I can just suggest it might be a good idea to get a pen and paper to pause the video um, and to get a pen and paper and have a look um, at that but hopefully this will work if I do that you should be able to see um, today's lesson the title is why did a war start over tea and these are some of the key words that we're going to be looking at today autonomy aristocracy Boston Tea Party uh, this idea of no taxation without representation and the navigation act so these are our key words we'll come back to those at the end um, it might be a good idea at the end of the lesson um, to use those keywords in sentences to show that you understand them. Um, and then our understanding question is, what was the main factor that led to the US War of Independence? And because you've had your cover lessons, obviously, um, over the last um, couple of days, um, so we're going to be going over some bits again because... Um, with your cover lesson, we don't know exactly how much um, you've covered. We don't know um, what, bit, what bits we're focused on. Um, so we're going to rewind a little bit just so that everybody is on the same page. So big question then is why did the war start over tea? Next um, side, we'll just look at some background. So Britain, as we know, has moved from piracy and privateers to plantations. We looked at two groups that moved from Britain to the Americas um, to form colonies. One of them was Jamestown. We looked at um, in Virginia. Um, and we said that the main reason that they moved over was for economic resources. Well, we also looked at Massachusetts with the Puritans going over. And we said that the main factor for them in moving over was religion. We also looked at the effect on the indigenous population. We looked at the Pocahontas story um, and whether she did or did not come across John Smith. Um, and also the fact that she um, ended up marrying or was forced into marrying um, John Rolfe. But... What's important from what we've seen so far is that these groups are distinctly British. They are a group of British people who have gone over and they happen to be living in America. They belong to Britain. So how do we get to, this is the question we need to look at today, how do we get from this group of British people living in America um, in these 13 colonies, how do we get to them breaking away and forming their own country of the United States of America as we know it today? So... Firstly, we're going to use one of our key words in this. Britain has given some control um, to the American colonies. So due to the Civil War, America was given more um, autonomy. They're given more control over how they live. And that's because Britain is too busy focusing um, on the Civil War um, between the Roundheads and the Parliamentarians. However, the British government has insisted on three key laws which have to be followed. Okay, It might be a good idea um, with your pen and paper to get these ideas down. Remember, you can pause the video at any point. Um, to get these down somewhere. So one of them is habeas corpus. This comes from a Magna Carta and um, from the Magna Carta of 1215 um, and it's reinforced in uh, 1688 with the Bill of Rights and it is the right to a free and fair trial including a jury. So they insist on that. They also insist that they are, they are free from Catholic control. So France is a Catholic country. Um, Britain um, has been fighting wars with them um, at this point around this time um, and they also um, France is also taking over large parts of North America. So they're worried about the influence of a Catholic country. Um, and they see um, the Catholic faith as tyrannical. They see it as um, tyrannical means it links to that idea of being a tyrant. They see it as somebody who is controlling, not allowing anybody any freedom. And they also insist, and this is really important for today's um, lesson, they insisted on the right of Parliament to raise taxes as and when it liked. Um, and um, it meant that 
that the people living in the colonies could have their taxes raised, um, even though it, that it had no, the decisions and what the money was being spent on had nothing to do with them. So this is where I really want you to make sure that you have got your um, pen and paper in front of you. I want you to make sure that you've got something. I don't care how you make notes. You might want to do it as a mind map. You might want to do it in a different way. Um, but really important that you've got a way of getting these notes down. Um, bullet points, whatever works for you. Okay, so four causes of America breaking away from Britain. I'm going to go through these um, and I want you to get down some key notes for each of the four because we're going to look back at a question at the end um, and you'll need this information. So first reason that America breaks away from Britain is they've got independent colonies. They see themselves as being independent. So the 13 colonies are used to being independent. So in the 17th century, Britain was dealing with the Civil War and they had no time to support the Americas, as we just said. In the Americas, they also had economic independence. They traded products like bread, cloth, and even slaves. Okay, so they're making their own money. They don't feel they need to rely on Britain. Um, and remember as well, some people had left Britain in order to get away um, from Britain and the British government. So, for example, the Puritans, they don't feel that the Reformation has gone far enough. They want to get away. So they see themselves as independent, even though they might have seen themselves as British people who happen to be living in the Americas. They have left for a reason. They are independent. So that is reason one. Get that down if you need to pause the video and um, get that down somewhere. OK. Number two. Second reason is that Britain um, is an outdated, was seen as outdated. So Britain still had a class system where aristocrats held power. Um, when we use this term aristocrats and arist aristocracy is one of our key words. Um, Arist aristocrats are people who were born into power and money. And that, in some cases, is still, is still um, the case in, in Britain today. You do have people who are very rich, um, but they've not really done anything for it. Their, their family just happens to be very rich. Um, in America, it's, it's been set up by business people. A lot of the people who went over there, um, they see themselves as self-made people. People see themselves who started with nothing and worked their way up. And we've talked in previous lessons about this idea of the American dream. Um, so they don't respect how Britain is set up. They don't respect that somebody can have and um, can be important just because of the of who their their family um, of who their family are, um, and they think that everybody should be treated equally. So one of the key ideas that's coming about is this idea of equality that everybody is born equal. Um, and so when we think about the economic the um, the factors that caused um, the the American War of Independence then um, ideas might be a good one to look at. This idea of equality and being self-made um, might be one of the, the ideas that were really important. Okay, number three is taxes and navigation acts. Remember to be getting some of these notes down as we're talking. So taxes and navigation acts. So from 1651 to 1673, Britain set up the navigation acts, which meant American colonies could only trade with Britain. Um, without competition, Brit the British could charge massive prices. OK, so if you imagine um, you, they, they want to get certain products, they can only get them um, from the British. So they know that they can charge whatever amount they want um, because you can't go anywhere else. OK, it's a bit like at the minute to bring it back to, uh, to where we're at the minute. It's so difficult to get hold of hand sanitizer, for instance, or maybe toilet roll. If somebody is selling hand sanitizer um, and they're the only one that you can possibly sell it from, um, uh, buy, buy it from, then they're going to charge massive, massive prices. OK, so it's that same idea that they can they and uh, they can't buy it from anybody else. So they can charge huge prices to the Americans. If Americans wanted something from anywhere other than Britain, it had to be taken back to Britain first and taxed there. So this is ridiculous from the American point of view. They're saying, um, it, say, for instance, you wanted to buy something from Mexico. Say you want to buy something from Mexico. Um, you can, you would have to, rather than just having it shipped over, which would not be very far um, from America at all, it could just come straight to you. Instead, it has to go all the way across to America, uh, to Britain so that someone can sign it off and so that you can pay tax on it for it to go all the way back to America. And it's another way for um, Britain to make money from the Americas. Remember, they need this money because they've got to try and pay um, for um, certain wars, which we're going to look at in a minute. So the taxes are particularly high. I'll just flip back to that. The taxes are particularly high from 1756 to 1763 because Britain was fighting France in the Seven Years' War. Unlike the Hundred Years' War, which is 116 years, 113 years, um, this one is actually seven years. 
Um, so Americans did not have any say in their money being spent because they did not have any representatives in Parliament. So the Americans are still having to, to spend loads of money to have to pay these taxes, but they're not really feeling the benefit of it. And they've not got any anybody in Parliament to argue their case or to say um, to maybe um, put forward issues that affect them. So, for, for instance, in our um, in our Parliament, we will pay certain taxes. OK, but we will also have somebody uh, from our area. So somebody from um, from Nottingham um, who will be in the House of Parliament and will say, right, this these people are paying their taxes, but the roads in Nottingham are really dodgy. There's lots of pop potholes, for instance. We've got an MP who can go and say that. The Americans at this time, they're paying all of this money, but they've got nobody um, who can uh, speak about them in Parliament and, and explain their situation. So this American motto starts, and this is still used today sometimes when people remember um, the American War of Independence, but the American motto was no taxation without representation. That was, the, that was their big idea. They're not going to pay any taxes if they're not going to be represented. Okay, number four. Remember, keep pausing if there's stuff you want to get down, get it down. And, um, number four is our spark event. So it's our really short-term cause that led up to America breaking away from Britain and having the American War of Independence. So, um, December 1773, the British decided that they're going to start charging 3p for every um, one pound of tea sold. Okay, so a bit like today, if you're trying to get in the way of people's cup of tea, they are not going to be happy. And tea was even more important then. It was seen as a sign. It was a really fashionable thing to drink. It was seen as a sign of uh, wealth and high society to be drinking tea. So the British decide they need more money, partly to fund these war wars in France that the Americans have got nothing to do with, but are still having to pay for. So a group of Americans are annoyed at the amount of money they're having to, to pay in taxes um, for the tea. So they jump onto a British ship in the port of Boston, um, which is in Massachusetts, and they dumped 342 cases of tea into the sea. And that was worth um, £11,000. £11,000 worth of tea um, floating um, in Boston port. The British are furious at this, um, not just because of the amount of money that it's cost, but also because they felt that they could control the American colonies. They felt that they were under their control. It was wrong for them to be doing this. So um, they responded by closing Boston port, so stopping any trade from happening in Boston. And they also banned public meetings. As a result of banning public meetings, Americans started meeting in private and they held their first Congress in 1774 in Philadelphia. Now, Congress is just another word for meeting. Um, however, um, they, they, the um, American Parliament, they still call themselves um, Congress today because of this, this idea of the first Congress, the first meeting in 1774. Um, and they decided that at that meeting, there were um, around 53 delegates and they decided that they were going to fight the British. The War of Independence had begun. So this, these are the questions that I would like you to have a stab at. And so I'd like you to, to pause the video um, and have a go through these. Um, they get a little bit harder as we go through. For your third question, um, you can, if you want to, I'll put a sentence, I'll put a couple of sentence starters on, and you can treat it like a 16 mark question. That might be a really good way of, of practicing. So your first question of the four causes that we've just gone through. And if you need to rewind the video, that's absolutely fine. Of the four causes, which are short term and which are long term? OK, so you could just go over your notes and just write ST and LT next to them. OK, or you could colour code whatever works for you. Um, but think about it. if it's short term, it happened just before it happened. So you could say that the Boston Tea Party was a short term, um, was a short term cause, even though it was um, a year before we actually get to the um, to the um, War of Independence. But you could say that's a short term because that's the spark event. Um, and which are long term? Which are things that have happened long? Which of them are ideas that have festered over time? Question two, um, can you in one paragraph, short, short paragraph, explain how the, the Boston Tea Party led to the War of Independence? OK, so tell, talk me through it. Um, this is a little bit like a writing account question. Um, tell me all of the steps. Consequently, this led to, as a result of that, this happened. Um, and again, go back over your notes, go back over um, the video to help you with that. Um, and then finally, uh, question three, what factor was the most important reason for the US War of Independence? I've given you three main ones. You could choose any of the other, any of the seven that we've studied. 
Um, but I think the three that are key for answering this question, so if you were going to do it as a 16 mark question, you would do three, three paragraphs, um, one on each of these. Firstly, economic resources. How much did that pl play a part? Um, and you could talk about things like the high taxation, you could talk about um, things like the taxes on tea or, or the navigation acts. Secondly, religion. How much did religion play a part? Um, and thirdly, ideas. Ideas like um, the thinking about um, equality and being self-made. How much was that idea um, the reason um, why America um, decided to break away from Britain? Okay, I'll just put up some sentence starters if you want for that number three. So you could treat it like a 60 marker and do economic issues with the main cause of the American War of Independence. How far do you agree with this statement? Um, and you can use those sentence starters. I won't go through them, but you can you can use those as you as you wish. Um, in terms of doing it as it stands, you're going to have to have some independence in terms of whether um, you. I'm not going to be checking, basically. I'm not going to be checking whether you've done this. However, if you would like me to have a look at your answers um, and you think that would be a um, helpful thing, um, then if I can show you on here, uh, then some of you will already have this, but you may want to email your work in and I will happily have a look over it. So my email address is rwilliams1 at bluecoatbeachdale.uk.com and I will have a look over um, any of the work that you've completed, especially, especially if you've done um, things like um, 16 mark questions, if you want me to an answer them, um, then that, that would be great. Okay, so hopefully now you're going to pause um, the video at this point and answer me those three questions. Okay, so I will allow you to pause that now. Okay, hopefully everybody has had a go at answering those three questions. The last thing I want you to do, um, as I said, you can decide whether you want to email it over to that email address. Last thing I want you to do is have a look at these um, keywords and key ideas um, that we um, that we uh, looked at at the start of the lesson. So ideas like autonomy and um, having um, being given freedom to. Um, to govern yourself, to look after yourself, um, aristocracy, which was um, the posh, the rich posh people in Britain at the time who were um, uh, in charge, which was an idea that wasn't really um, working in America, wasn't something that was respected. The Boston Tea Party, the event that we looked at, and this idea of no taxation without representation and the Navigation Acts. What I want you to do is I want you to try and uh, write a couple of sentences which uses all of those keywords, or if you've got other people in the house with you, use those keywords to tell them um, what you've done in the lesson. Use those keywords to um, explain exactly um, what the lesson was about uh, and how we got to this point that um, an argument over T has led to um, the US War of Independence. Um, we will be picking that up in the next couple of days and there'll be another video on here. So keep checking, um, keep checking uh, this YouTube channel um, and keep checking through the school website. Um, and, and do feel free to, to email over um, the, the work. If you want to take pictures of like mind maps you've done and upload them on, on, and put those onto um, the email as well, that would be absolutely fine. Last thing, um, I know this, for some of you, this is quite a, um, for, for everyone, it's quite a scary time, isn't it? It's just, it's everything's up in the air um, and our routine of going to school and things like that is, is all changed. Um, so I just wanted to say um, that, as much as this is this is this is a difficult time, and I've not got any answers or anything to say that it's not it's not scary. Um, from a history point of view, um, if if it helps you to think about it this way, um, we are living through incredibly interesting times, um, and what what we're what we're going through at the minute, and and whole um, and sort of thousands and thousands of people being isolated, um, millions of people now being isolated. That is something that for generations. Um, people will be studying um, and so I, I know it's not much of it, it it's scary for some people and obviously we, we've got um, worries about about health and things like that and, and that, that doesn't change but from a history point of view we are living through interesting times um, any questions put them on the email um, and best of luck with all of your work okay we said we've said all the way through that this year nine group is going to be have the best results that we've ever had 
Now, it just so happens that coronavirus is trying to stop us. Um, we will not lose momentum. We will keep pushing ourselves. We will keep going. Um, so just make sure um, that you're continuing with your work and that you're still talking to the people in your house and explaining what, you, what you've learned um, and our momentum won't, won't be slowed down by anything. All right, keep safe, um, look after each other, and um, I will see you very soon.